reality. Get with the real world. Now this is some sight to behold. On a breezy, cold day in the English countryside, a man, half naked with an ancient Greek helmet on his head, is vocally announcing the start of a Spartan race. Are you ready? Pedal on my mark in three, two, one. Let battle come on! A few dozen people, mostly just in shorts and shirts and of all sizes and ages, run off to tackle an arduous obstacle course that will take them through mud, water and under barbed wire. Spartan races are still a bit of a novelty in Europe. They were co-founded in the USA by Joseph the Sena. So basically, we feel like the world has gotten too soft, especially uh, in first world countries. And the idea was, could we rip people off the couch? Could we turn the clock back, get them back to nature, beat them up a bit, almost like a rite of passage? So there's some fancy dress at the start and some hooting, but this is no joke. No, we're taking it pretty seriously. We're, we're working on getting it in the Olympics. We think it's, it's got the, the makings of an Olympic sport. This is less about coming with a bunch of friends and partying and more about digging deep, um, training, discipline, goal setting and and pushing through, crawling under the barbed wire, getting over the walls, climbing the rope and getting it done. Yet with courses ranging from around five kilometers to full marathon length, you don't have to be an elite athlete to take part in a Spartan race. We've got seven-year-old kids, we've got 70-year-old grandfathers, grandmothers, uh, you name it, they're coming out and they're competing. <laughs> The event is timed and people return again and again to try and improve their personal best or maybe take on a longer course. But the timing isn't the most important thing. The most important thing is really getting out of your comfort zone. Just getting uncomfortable. Uh, I like to say, look, if the weather's bad, go outside. You want to push through and in pushing through, you're going to reset your frame of reference in life. And all of a sudden, those little things that come up to all of us every day, they're not going to seem like such a big deal. You're not going to be upset that your coffee's too cold, your car didn't start, or your girlfriend left you. You're just going to say to yourself, thank God I'm not crawling under barbed wire. We know it all. Chris Cummins. FM4. Reality Check.